It's tech time. So, you know, has it ever happened to you that you bought an action camera and it's not one of the name brand cameras? It's not a GoPro or it's not an SJ Cam or a Thi or even a Firefly. But you bought yourself an action camera on the cheap. And then you stick it into your editing software and you wonder why the audio and the video don't line up, that they're out of sync. Well, I'm going to show you how you can fix that. And it's a very little simple thing that you can do if you want to stick with the very low budget action camera. And I'm going to show you how to do that coming right up. But first, let me show you an example clip of what I'm talking about. So has it ever happened to you that you got an action camera, not one of the name brands like SJ Cam or GoPro or Sony or Thi or Firefly, but one of the other brands. But has it ever happened that you bought an action camera and you notice that when you try to edit it, the audio is completely off and you wonder, well, what in the world is going on with the audio on this? Because it seems like a decent camera. Well, what you may notice right now is that it's happening maybe right now with this camera. Okay, so this is the file in question. And now when I play it... And start. So has it ever happened to you that you got an action camera not one of the name brands like SJ Cam or GoPro or Sony or Thi or Firefly, but one of the other brands. Okay, so what you notice about that is that it's actually in sync, but that's with the video player. But once you stick it into a linear editing software, like I use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro likes the frame rate to be exact and what I mean by that is some of these cheaper action cameras what will happen is they say that they record at 60 frames a second but in reality they do not they only record at a varying frame rate so what you've got to do is I'll use a software program called handbrake and let me just well, just name this test just for giggles. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it right into the same folder that I'm doing this video in. Now, what you need to do is make sure that normal is clicked. Go to video tab. Now, right here, I don't know, let me zoom in a little bit. You've got variable bit rate or variable frame rate and a constant frame rate. Now, if you pick constant frame rate and then render this video, it will just go up to the start button here, click it, and it's preparing to encode. And I'm going to skip ahead to when it's done. So that way you can see the done file. And then I'll actually add it back into Premiere so that you can see that now the audio is fixed. And the problem is just the fact that these less expensive, I hate to say cheap, but these less expensive action cameras, they do not record at 60 frames per second. I mean, it's actually supposed to be 59.94, I believe. But they will vary. It'll go 59, it'll go down to 45, it kind of just wanders around. And that's where your audio gets out of sync with the video. So, we'll just uh, let this fast forward. All right, the cue is now finished, so I can close out handbrake. There is my new one. So let's go to Adobe. We're going to import the test clip. Let me drag that. 
over here. Waiting for the audio to conform. And let's see. So has it ever happened to you that you got an action camera, not one of the name brands like SJ Cam or GoPro or Sony or TI or Firefly, but one of the other brands. But has it ever happened that you bought an action camera and you notice that when you try to edit it, the audio is completely off. And you wonder, well, what in the world is going on with the audio on this? Because that's uh, my memory freezing up a little bit. It seems like a decent camera. Well, what you may notice right now is that it's happening maybe right now with this camera. I'm going to show you what's causing it, number one, and how you can actually fix it in post. And we're going to do that coming right up. So as you can see, that fixed it. That got the audio and the video to actually sync up just by doing that with this program called Handbrake. And Handbrake, if you've never heard of it before, it is a great tool. Uh, one of the great tools about Handbrake is that you can not only conform your video to where it's a constant bitrate, but you can also compress the video with very little video quality loss, if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you'd like some more information on that, I can uh, definitely show you how to compress the video a right way uh, to uh, get the highest quality. So hopefully this was informative to you. For those of you out there with a inexpensive action camera, or one of the knockoff cameras and the audio and video being out of sync has been bothersome to you. So hopefully this has been a helpful video to where you can still actually salvage the audio and video and have them line up and sync up together. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up because you know what? If you like a video, it really does help. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing today. I've got a lot of content it's not always just product reviews, but sometimes it's a little bit of helpful tutorial. And I had a viewer make a comment last week on a video that he was having difficulty with a camera that was out of sync. And I wanted to do some experimenting. And of course, I've got some of these, wow, uh, <laughs> the wing soar. I've always got to show this camera because this has got to be the worst action camera I've ever seen in my life. And its audio was out of sync. So I figured I would use the audio from this for this example in this video. So hopefully this helps. And if it does, great. If you already knew about it, fantastic. I guess you get to move along. But like I said, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing today. I do appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment below because I respond to all comments. Psst. One more thing. You know, the holidays are fast approaching, like Christmas is just right around the corner, and also Hanukkah's right around the corner, so that's eight gifts that you gotta give. But right below in the description, I have got a link to an Amazon, it's called the Influencer page. And I have been lucky enough to where I've been an affiliate with Amazon, and the affiliate helps out it doesn't cost you anymore, but there's a small commission made to this channel to help this channel out. Also, in that link, they've now made me partners with them. It's called the Influencer, Amazon Influencer page. Uh, it'd be very helpful. Just take a look. It's a lot of the gear that I use or that I have and that I recommend that I think is great. Since the holidays are coming up and there are sales in there, if you can just kind of peruse through there, click on that link, you'll see it in the description below. It'll help out the channel and I do appreciate it because anything to help the channel out will help fund the channel so I can grow and get the production value up to where it really needs to be. But anyway, I just thought I'd sneak that in. Thank you.